stages in the development of man stages in the development of man evolution teaches that man evolved from apes or ape-like creatures it is believed that man's evolution from the apes progressed through transitional stages from ape-like creatures to man below are the transitional stages proconsul africanus to kenya pithecus to althropithecus to zingathropus to homo habilis to homo erectus to homo sapiens now let's look at the above mentioned stages in details firstly let's begin with proconsul africanus Proconsul Africanus lived in East Africa during the Miocene era around 22 million years ago. They lived in different environments, from rainforests to woodlands. Their teeth are evidence that they ate mainly fruits. The skull is characterized by the absence of broad ridges and a protruding jaw. Proconsul Africanus are known as dental apes because their teeth and jaw looks like those of apes. Their skeleton, however, has a monkey-like feature. Their skeletal remains show that they varied greatly in size, from that of a small monkey to that of a female gorilla. The most complete Proconsul Africanus skull found to date was discovered by, by Mary Leakey in the year 1948 on Rosinga Island in Kenya. Secondly, Kenya Pithecus. Kenya Pithecus lived during the Miocene period. He was named Kenya Pithecus by Dr. Louis Leakey in the year 1961. This name means Kenyan ape. Kenya Pithecus had powerful chewing muscles along with large molars and small incisors. He was a herbivore. His jaw muscles were set forward for greater crushing power. Fossils of Kenya Pithecus were discovered in Kenya. Kenya Pithecus spent most of the time in trees and cracked hard seeds and nuts with his teeth, and he also chewed tough stems and bark. The structure of his jaws suggests that he may be close to the common ancestors of later large man-ape creatures. Thirdly, Australopithecus. By around four million years ago, the Australopithecus genus evolved in Eastern Africa before spreading throughout the continent and eventually becoming extinct two million years ago. Australopithecus had evolved with two important characteristics which made him different from apes. These characteristics were 1. A small canine teeth 2 bipedalism that is walking on two legs this means that australopithecus was able to walk on two legs other characteristics of australopithecus reflected their ape ancestry they included one a low cranium behind the projecting face two a brain size of an ape's brain. 3. The body weight ranging from 27 to 49 kg. 4. Caved fingers and long thumbs with a wide range of movement, making them extremely well adapted for hanging and swinging from branches. 5. A protruding faces like those of apes and little body hair. Astropithecus was discovered by Dr. Louis Leakey and Mary Leakey at Odovai Gorge in Tanzania in the year 1959. 
some features such as the shape of the shoulder blades and the long curved fingers and the semicircular ear canals showed that he was more like an ape. The leg bone and the feet, however, showed an ability to walk upright. Asteropithecus lived in different environments. This included woodlands, forests, grasslands, and the savanna. They lived in small groups of about 20 individuals. These groups were nomadic, constantly moving from place to place in search of food. Their diet included meat from small animals. They possibly used simple tools such as digging sticks to penetrate the earth in order to get roots and tubers. Fourthly, Zingathropus. Zingathropus. In the year 1959, after a search for 28 years, Dr. Leakey and his wife Mary Leakey discovered a skull in East Africa in Odovai Gorge, which he called Zingathropus or East African Man. Zinjathropus was also called Nutcracker Man because of his huge teeth which he used to crack nuts. Fifth, Homo habilis. Homo habilis. According to the evolutionary theories, before or about 2.5 million years ago, an unknown astropithecus species gave rise to the ancestor of the genus Homo. Homo habilis lived 2.3 to 1.6 years ago. Homo is a Latin word meaning human or man. The word habilis is a Latin word that means handy or skillful. This species is also known as handyman because stone tools were found near his fossil remains and it is believed that this species had developed the ability to modify stone into tools. Homo habilis was discovered at Odovai Gorge. Other fossils of this species have been found at Lake Takana and Kubi, Kubifora in Kenya. Physical characteristics of Homo habilis. 1. He had a larger brain than earlier human ancestors. 2. The body proportion was similar to that of Astropithecus. The female grew to about 110 centimeters and males to about 130 centimeters in height. 3. The face was smaller. The jaw was smaller than those found in the earlier astropithecus, and the teeth were arranged in a more rounded arc like, although the incisors were still relatively large. 4. Features of the legs and feet bones showed that Homo habilis walked on two, on two legs. His legs were relatively short. His fingers, his finger bones were slightly curved. The finger bones sizes indicated that he had the human-like ability to hold and use tools more perfectly. 5. Homo habilis was the first of human ancestors to make stone tools. The first unskillfully made stone tools such as simple choppers, core tools, crappers were made as early as 2.6 million years ago. These are often called the 
order one two stone tools because the first discoveries of these tools were made at Odoway, which is now called Odvai Gorge. Homo habilis lived in a grassland environment. He was mainly vegetarian, but he also included some meat in his diet. The climate became cooler and drier, and this forced Homo habilis to come up with new feeding strategies which included scavenging and use of tools. Sixth, Homo erectus. Homo erectus lived 2 million years ago. His remains were discovered to the northwest of Lake Takana at Nariokotone River in Kenya, Hada and Hara in North Ethiopia, Ologosaili near Ngong Hills in Kenya, Isimila near Ilinga in Tanzania, and Tenerife in Algeria. Physical characteristics of Homo erectus. He was he walked in an upright posture. His face was more like that of an ape. He was an omnivorous. He could cook his food since he had invented the art of fire. He made advanced tools such as hand axe, knife, crappers, using stones and bones. His brain capacity was larger than that of Homo habilis. Seventh and last stage, Homo sapien. Homo sapien refers to a thinking or intelligent man. He lived about 200,000 years ago, after Homo erectus became instinct. His remains were found at Ilie Springs to the west of Lake Takana, Kanjera, and Kanam in the Lake Victoria Basin in Kenya. Others have been found at Budo and Omo Valley in Ethiopia and Ngaloba in Tanzania. The physical characteristics of Homo sapien. He was taller than Homo erectus. He had long straight legs for swift movement. His brain capacity was between 1000 and 1800 cc. He had small teeth. His forehead was steep and well rounded. He made advanced tools which were called micro, microlithic. These tools were made from stones, bones, and wood. He hunted, gathered, fished, and later domesticated plants and animals. Yeah.